Hi, this is Jen from eBooks and Bargains, and I finally got around to doing my What's Sold in December video. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is a New Kids on the Block pillowcase. It had different sides on each side, different pictures, and it was from 1990. It only sold for $10, but I picked it up for $0.10, cents, so I guess that's a pretty good profit, but I just wish I could sell things that were a little more expensive, but you'll see in this video that I was just trying to get rid of some stuff this month. Next up is a size medium Cocker Spaniel t-shirt. It was a really nice quality t-shirt. It was embroidered, but it was a size medium and I found that that size is really difficult to sell. I accepted a best offer for $5.50 on this and like I said, I just really wanted to get rid of some stuff and I'd had it for a few years. I believe I paid $2 for it, so not really a profit, but still better than just like giving it to a thrift store. This was my headache sale of the month. I'm sure most of you know that you are not allowed to say in a best offer that the seller has to pay shipping as part of your condition. You're supposed to, you know, figure that into your best offer. Well, this person said that I was going to pay shipping. I didn't see that when I accepted a $50 offer on this. And they said they didn't care about eBay rules. And I ended up paying the shipping, but I was really not happy with how the whole thing happened. Um, because I was on my phone when I accepted it. I did not see that they had the condition in there that they would pay shipping. And it was about $7 to ship. Um, I did pay $4.50 for this, and I sold it for $50. So I did get a pretty decent price from it, but I originally had it up at $79.99. But that it's been up for about a year, so I'm glad to see it go. And my computer just blacked out. I talked too much, didn't I? I'm sorry about that. I'll try to not talk as much for my other items. This sold for seven dollars on best offer. It's a stamped cross stitch kit. I it was complete, and I paid I think fifty cents for it at a thrift shop. This is a cookbook. I believe I paid $2 for it at a book sale. I like the spiral bound cookbooks. Um, I have to sit on them for a while, but they usually eventually sell. This one's from the Fairview United Methodist Church in Morgantown, West Virginia, and it sold for full price at $12.99. This is a Sugarloaf Cupid Reindeer. He has an unscratched tag. Um, one of the things that Sugarloaf Toys was doing this year in their claw machines was you could get these reindeer and if you got eight of them, you could enter the codes on their website for, and they would send you a Rudolph. Well, when I was little, I was fascinated with claw machines and eventually my parents pretty much made me quit playing them and I just wanted to see if I could still have my knack of it. I think I was just wanting too much when I was little, I'm not sure. And I do have my knack for it and so I got this out of a claw machine. I'm not sure how many tries it took, but I threw him up on eBay and he sold for $10 on best offer. This is another hat from my eight to 10 cent or whatever it was hat haul from a few months back that I had talked about. This only sold for $9.99, but it wasn't anything special. And it sold to, of all places, Hungary. I love the country Hungary. I've been there. I hope to go back someday. But until I do, I can know that my hat is in Hungary. This is another hat from the same haul, Bruce Hardwood Floors. I kind of thought somebody named Bruce might want to buy it. It's a cool hat for somebody named Bruce. I don't know if it was a gift or what, but in any case, it sold on Best Offer for $14.99. Oh my, oh my, oh my, we're into the Christmas sweaters. I am never buying Christmas sweaters again. 
when I started selling them a few years ago, they were difficult to find. Now you can find them at Walmart, Kmart, Target, you name it. Thrift stores in my area are raising prices. They used to be like a dollar or two. Now they're ten dollars. I am getting out of the ugly Christmas sweater business. I have actually put all of my ugly Christmas sweaters on sale right now on eBay for 70% off. And I just want them out of here. This one was sold for, I think, $6. Now, after that diatribe about how I hate ugly Christmas sweaters and I'm not going to sell them anymore, if I see something like this, I will definitely make an exception. I paid $5 for this about a year ago, I believe, and it sold for $49.99. It was a size small. If it had been a larger size, I'm sure it would have sold quicker. This was just an absolutely fantastic 1980s sweater. Not exactly Christmas themed, although I did put ugly Christmas sweater in the title. It's, it's just a fantastic sweater. And it was wool, so it had a lot of selling points. And I really was happy with this sale. This is a Christmas angel ornament from 1985. A couple of years ago, I went to an estate sale where the lady had, had collected a lot of high-end Christmas items. And I didn't really know a lot about them, but I believe I paid $2 for this and I've had it up for about two years and it sold for $12 when I got the offer in. I was like, I'm glad to be getting rid of this. I'm more than making my money back. It's out of here. This is another Christmas sweater. It was a 2X, which is a nice size that usually sells, but this one I would had hanging around for about three years, and when I got an offer of $8, I took it. I had found a bunch of Hanukkah candles um, about a year and a half ago, and they were, they were almost free. They were like $0.25 cents a box or something, and I do like items where I can put them up and have multiple listings. And so I bought them, and I've only sold two of them, and they sold for $7 a box. This is an item that I bought after Christmas of last year. I bought them retail at 70% off, um, just at a big box store near where I live. And I have been selling them pretty much all through December. And the average price sold was about $10. So, you know, it was an easy listing, multiple listing, and I don't mind selling stuff that low when, you know, I can just keep on, you know, selling from the same listing. This, I'm assuming, was bought as a Christmas gift. I don't know who would buy it as a Christmas gift. It doesn't seem that nice, but gag gifts are always fun, and I'm sure the person has a sense of humor if it was bought as a gift. Um, this is a 1988 um, Hallmark coffee cup mug with Maxine, and it says if you find something at the bottom of this mug, it's probably my teeth. I have had my coffee mugs up for a couple of years now. I'm trying to get a lot of them moved. Um, I believe I got a I got a nine dollar offer on this, and I took it because one less coffee mug in the house. Another item that I greatly reduced. This sold for six ninety nine. Um, Mexican doll crochet patterns for um, a crafter. And I paid, I think, 10 cents for this. This was my big sale of the month. It is a 1969 new Schofield Reference Bible. Um, there's been Schofield Reference Bibles, and then there's the new Schofield Reference Bible. Schofield Reference Bibles, old or new, are very sought after. 
This one I paid $1 for at a garage sale. It was still in a box. Um, it was cowhide, you know, leather. It was lined. I put that it's King James in the title because some people are very particular about what version of the Bible it is. And I took a best offer on this for $110. So $1 into $110, I'm very happy with that. I believe I took a best offer on this. I'm not sure why it's not showing. I'm thinking I sold this thing for $12. But like I said, I'm trying to move my sweaters out and just get them out of the house. This, I believe, was my mother's. Um, I went through her closet after she passed away and pulled a few things for eBay. It sold at $9.99. She never wore this. I believe it was given to her the Christmas that, you know, before she passed away. And, you know, she's not going to wear a Christmas sweatshirt after Christmas. So it had never been worn. So, yeah, $10. I still have some of these on eBay. So if you like them, come to ebooksandbargains.com. This is a lot of vintage tilt ball puzzle game mazes from the Cezal SZAL Funeral Home in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I took a best offer of $7 for these and it's definitely a fun item. This is a West Virginia University Penguin Christmas ornament. I bought it at the retail store for 75% off last year after Christmas and I sold it for $7.99. This is a quilt pattern I am not even sure where I got this. I know it wouldn't have been more than a dollar. Um, it sold for $15 and it went to England. I still have more of these as well. So if you're interested, just come to ebooksandbargains.com. This is a nurse's prayer keychain. Um, I had bought something like 30 of these, 25, 30 a while back and I paid like 25 cents each for them. It says $8.99. I sold different lots through the month, but I sold every one of them for over $5. And considering that, you know, I sold two lots and, you know, I, I was able to ship them together and I had more questions, but I, I didn't get, I had my store off for the week before Christmas because my husband and I were planning on going out of town. So I did miss some sales on these. So I still have some. Another Christmas sweater, this time with penguins. Um, I think this is the one that went to England. I took a best offer of $12. Like I said, I want rid of my Christmas sweaters. A size medium Christmas sweater. I think I took an offer of $8 on this one. Again, medium is a more difficult size to sell, and I wanted it gone. I've had this Christmas ornament kit for over a year. I had it up for $24.99, and I got an offer in of $18. I was happy with that. It's a needlepoint little lamb sheep ornament that you can make and had everything included, so I took the $18 offer. And I believe I paid 50 cents for this, quarter 50 cents, so, so I was very happy with that. And that's it for December. I will do another video for January, and thank you all for watching. Be sure and subscribe, because I, I do a video at least once a month. Thank you, bye.